My days as a competitive athlete are long since gone, but I still enjoy running, and I'm really conscious of the strains and stresses we put on our body, even during the gentlest of runs. So I'm interested to find out about how these heelless running shoes might help prevent injury and, and maybe even help me run a little bit faster. But before I try the trainers, it's time to find out about how the idea originated in a garage in Staffordshire. Adri Hartfelt is a Dutch marathon runner and physiotherapist based near Stoke with over 25 years experience in treating sporting injuries. And the quest for ever faster times and the prevention of injury led him to look into the biomechanics of running. Basically, running without a heel strike, a heelless running, uh, is, is the natural way of running. In that way, uh, a person can run the fastest, uh, but also it's a natural response of the body to absorb the shock. Most uh, runners, most joggers, actually strike their, their foot with a heel. I realised that if I would devise a heelless running shoe, that uh, I would then uh, help many more runners by preventing running injuries. That brought me then to uh, a lot of experimentation uh, with trying many uh, different prototype shoes, running in those myself, and, and keep through trial and error finding the best way of, uh, of how to do this. The initial prototypes have been developed with the local shoe manufacturers in Burslem and the innovative shop plate was built by Shrewsbury-based manufacturers, Security Composites. At present, um, I, I use existing running shoes, but the, the, the entire sole is taken off um, and the foot is just supported by a uh, rigid uh, plate and that then um, helps the, the foot to uh, uh, slowly come down. The heel bone gradually reaches almost the floor. Uh, the shock is, uh, is greatly absorbed in this way. And then we have an, uh, a highly absorbable material, Helix VA, um, that we use. And we, we apply this to the shoe, to the outer sole at the bottom of it. I actually then uh, tested the, the running shoes in the biomechanics laboratory at Staffs University. Staffordshire University in particular has been working with them for the last um, six, seven years now, um, right from scratch. In terms of um, the heelless technology, what we have found so far is uh, we have measured the forces uh, which are applied to the human body and also the pressures within the shoe and the foot. Based on the initial results that we have got from the lab environment, it's very, very encouraging. We're going to start up a new research program looking at how the movement differs with heelless shoes compared to normal running shoes. The knee flexion characteristics has definitely changed looking at, uh, looking at the simple graph there. Obviously, this is not it's as free smoother, analysis. Isn't it? yeah. It's much smoother. By just looking at the simple graphs, it looks yeah. encouraging. Yeah. yeah, you feel like your foot's more supported. And it is easier to run on the treadmill with it. And Adri's work with local runners in Stoke has seen some positive initial feedback. We decided to research the market, uh, so together with Bourne Sports, we, we, we asked many runners their opinion. We had a, a range of runners trying the shoes. Do fasten them quite tight, uh, since they're a little big, and press your heel right back. I feel it's light, and I feel as if I could run faster in it. It almost makes you start stepping into a jog. It actually felt better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was projected forward and I just felt that I was moving on from being a gentle jogger to perhaps a real runner. When I looked at the shape of the shoe I thought, oh, really strange. Um, but as soon as I put them on, it just felt like a pair of slippers. I was expecting it to be really difficult with the shape of the heel, but no. Anything to make me run faster as well. Well, with such glowing recommendations, it's about time I tried a pair out for myself. Hi, Adri, good to meet you. Hi. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out the shoes in a, in a yeah. moment, but first a few questions. Like many runners, I, I get quite a lot of Achilles and calf problems, and probably as I get older and maybe a bit heavier, I find that I strike quite badly with my heel. Can you talk me through how it might help specifically with calf and Achilles problems? Well, when you're, you're older, uh, you're... Uh, your calf muscles uh, can't quite take as much strain, so you, 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 need, you need more help, really, uh, to, to, to get that uh, elasticity, to keep that spring in your step. Well, I guess it's time for me to put the shoes on now and go for a little jog with them and see yeah. what they feel like. Standing up is 
there's almost a tendency to, 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 to fall backwards. So I feel myself kind of moving, leaning forward and, and becoming more straighter. Is that? Yeah, yeah. It improves the posture this way because obviously um, you can't really lean on your heels there yeah. now because, because you've got no heels to lean on. Okay, yeah. let's okay. go. Yeah. Right. I like the fact that I'm not going on my head. I don't feel flat-footed, and I actually feel quite stable. I thought I might feel a bit instable, but actually, it feels comfortable. It feels different, but uh, as of now, it feels quite good. It's only one lap, but uh, yeah. Yeah. it's a really radical design. I thought I might feel unstable, but in fact, the feeling I had was 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 good because I'm so used now to being hit, striking on my heel as I get older. It was nice to feel that it was more on my toes. I mean, runners will be your greatest critics, but they'll also be your greatest advocates. And if the technology does work as you believe, then uh, then good luck to you. I think it's it, it'll be tremendously successful. Right, excellent. Well, it's certainly a different idea, a different technology, and it, it is radical thinking. But but the early signs are good. I, I think it makes a lot of sense. And certainly athletes are, and runners are always looking for new technologies, new ideas, particularly if it's going to help them reduce the likelihood of getting injured. The Healer's Shoe appears to have a lot of potential to provide athletes and club runners with a real breakthrough in running technology.